फर्स्ट नवंबर 2022 मॉर्निंग मुर्शली आम शांति बाप दादा मधुपन स्वीट चिल्ड्रन डोंट अलाउ योर एंटेलेक्ट्स टू हैंग ऑन टू बॉडीली बिंग्स रिमेंबर द वन बॉडीलेस फादर एंड आल्सो रिमाइंड अदर्स ऑफ द फादर क्वेश्चन व्हाट मेन थिंग्स do you need to pay attention to in order to make your life as elevated as a diamond answer first point prepare and eat your meals while being very yukyukta second point remind one another of the father and give the donation of life third point don't perform any sinful acts fourth point protect yourselves from the company of those who talk about useless things don't gossip fifth point don't let your intellects be attracted to bodily beings don't hang on to bodily beings sixth point continue to take advice from the eternal surgeon at every step don't hide your illness from the surgeon Om Shanti children in whose remembrance are you sitting means shri baba remember shri baba alone and no body beings this body being is sitting in front of you but you mustn't even remember him you simply have to remember the one bodiless one who doesn't have a body of his own thus mama baba and the special beloved serviceable children all learn from shri baba therefore you have to remember shri baba although some children go and explain to others your intellects have to understand that shri baba has taught them let your intellects only have remembrance of shri baba and of no body beings if you remember this bodily being that is common the father says never hang on to bodily beings you have to remember the one who grants salvation to everyone if you remember this corporeal being that remembrance is fruitless for instance children remember their worldly fathers but there is no benefit in that if you remember a brahman teacher or think that a particular teacher should teach you that too is fruitless you mustn't have remembrance of anyone else shri baba is teaching us shri baba is the benefactor never surrender yourselves to body livings this baba also tells you man manabhav if you remember body livings you will go into degradation the father knows that the interests of some of you are attached to brahman teachers but that is wrong there mustn't be any attraction to bodily beings baba's orders are constantly remember me alone wake up early in the morning and remember me bodily beings are said to be worldly you mustn't remember them remember me the incorporeal one alone only the one is remembered salutations to shift Shiv is bodiless you have to claim your inheritance from the father even this body is not his the father says it is only because i don't have a body of my own that i teach you through this body this is why i take his support i taught you children easy raj yoga through this one in the previous cycle through which you became pure It is my service to purify the impure. It is useless to ask for blessings or mercy. Those things continue on the path of devotion, not here. It isn't that if someone falls ill, I would make that person well. That is not my business. People call out, "Come and purify us impure ones. Take us from degradation into salvation." The saying thus but they don't know the meaning of it there are devotees throughout the whole world 
Whom do all of them remember? They remember the one purifier father. He is the liberator and also the guide of all the human beings of the whole world. It is only the father who liberates everyone from sorrow and takes them to the supreme hour. Therefore, you should follow the father Srimad. Take advice at every step as to what you should do in certain circumstances. They are just the one surgeon. Thus one, means Brahma, is the place where the surgeon stays and also the one through whom he speaks. No one else can give you directions such as the surgeon does. Your children mustn't waste your time. Day by day, your lifespan is getting shorter. Destruction is just ahead. If you become careless, you will have to have great repentance. By wasting your time in gossiping, you cause yourselves a lot of damage. You have to save others. Human beings are unable to make others meet the Father. Instead, they divert them even further away from the Father. At this stage, it is everyone's stage of descent, and so they would definitely give wrong directions. Your children have now received knowledge and so you mustn't perform any sinful acts. You mustn't hide anything. You know that we have been committing sin for birth after birth. If after belonging to the father you still continue to commit sin, what would others say? They would say, you see, that God is teaching you and yet you continue to commit sin. If you commit sin and don't tell Baba, the burden will not decrease. That habit will then become firm. You might think that no one can see you, but God sees everything. How else would someone receive punishment in a war? Your conscience will then be bite so because you committed those sins. For instance, if someone enlages and vice and then sits here, the father knows about that. Those who don't understand this have very degraded intellects. They continue to commit sin and don't tell Baba about it. Even this physical father knows some things, but some children don't tell him about them. The father says, if you continue to commit sin, that continues to increase and there will then have to be one hundredfold punishment. A thief continues to steal and so he can't think of anything except stealing. He is called a jailbird. The father explains to your children, if someone gossips with you about useless matters, instead of reminding you of the father, consider that one to be your enemy. You mustn't listen to or speak of useless matters. Continue to remind one another to remember Shibaba. Some even became angry, thinking, why it's so and so telling me this? However, it is your duty to remind others. Your sins will be absolved by having remembrance. Until you reach your karma stage, you will continue to make one mistake or another through your thoughts, words or deeds. You will reach your karmatid stage at the end. In that too, only a few will pass with honors. Those who don't do service will not reach that stage. Those who remain occupied in doing service have to remind others of Baba. What is your relationship with the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul? Baba gives his own example. When I sit down for a meal, or when I go for a bath, remind me to remember Shri Baba. Although you yourself may not stay in remembrance, you have to put Baba's directions into practice. If you want to benefit yourselves, then remind one another of Baba. There is a lot of praise of Brahma Bhojan. The yoga of the Brahmins who prepare food has to be accurate, for only then will there be that strength in the food. You receive the donation of life by having remembrance. Make your life like a diamond. 
The easiest things of all is to remember me and to become pure. If you become impure, there will be one hundredfold punishment. If you continue to remember me, your father, your sins will be absolved, and I will also give you your inheritance. If you remember me a little, you will receive a little inheritance. At the beginning and at the end of the Gita, it is written, Man Manabhav. You mustn't remember body livings. If you remember Sri Baba, you benefit. Your sins are bound to be. Your sins are not absolved by bathing in the Ganges. Although they say that they have that love, that love is wrong. The Ganges is not the purifier. Only the one father is the purifier. You mustn't remember physical things. Remember Sri Baba alone. The soul says, O oh God, the Father, O oh Supreme Father, Supreme Soul. The Father says, I have come to show you a very easy method. Remember me at the end. You will remember me and you will then come to me. There are souls and bodies. It is a human soul that is said to be a sinful soul or a charitable soul. It isn't said, charitable, supreme soul. It is souls who became impure and so they receive impure bodies. The Father speaks to souls. Souls are imperishable. The Father and the children are both imperishable. The Father says, O oh, beloved, long lost and now found children, I only come once and make you pure. I make you soul conscious and say, may you be bodiless. Remember me, the Father, that's all. This is the pilgrimage of souls. Those are physical pilgrimages. You know that souls now have to return home. Only in the fire of yoga will your sins of many births be cut away. You have to become Brahmins. If you don't become this, you will claim a low status among the subjects. Even if you hear a little knowledge that is never destroyed. Those who study well and also teach others will claim a high status. The easiest thing of all is remembrance. Remember the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. The highest on high is only the one God. Therefore, it is all right to sing songs about just Sri Baba. Your intellect should be aware that Sri Baba is speaking to you. The play is now coming to an end. All the actors now have to renounce the consciousness of their bodies and return home. By remembering the Father, your sins will be absolved. Then the more you remember Him, the higher the status you will claim. For instance, they have a pillar, means as a goal, to which they race, and the one who reaches their first and returns wins. Your pillar is Sri Baba, and your race is the pilgrimage of remembrance. The more you remember him, the sooner you will reach the pillar. You then have to go to heaven. You mustn't become tired on this pilgrimage. The land of sorrow is now to end. We have to go to the land of peace and the land of happiness. Today it is the land of sorrow and tomorrow it will be the land of happiness. Remind everyone of that father. The father has brought heaven for you on the palms of his hand and he says constantly remember me alone and your boat will go across. You mustn't waste your time. Even on the path of devotion, you used to gossip a lot. When some people do devotion, they shout so loudly, calling out to God, Come and grant us salvation. The Father has now come and He tells you children to become pure. You may live together as a couple, but check that a fire is not lit. If a fire take place, your streets would be destroyed. Once that fire has been lit, it will continue to flare up 
again and again. This is why you have to protect yourselves. A lot of practice is required to stay in yoga. No matter how much noise there may be during yoga, even if there are earthquakes or bombs are dropped, you mustn't be afraid of those things. Just look what happens nowadays. You know that rivers of blood are going to flow in Bharat alone. When there was partition, rivers of blood flow. Did they not? Many calamities are yet to come. You will have to see how there will be death for the prey and happiness for the hunter. You are becoming angels. Those who are very good and serviceable will be able to stay at that time. You need to be very strong and thus remember Shri Baba. You will never again find a father and sweet and Shri Baba. You have to follow his directions. The main thing is to become pure. Those who enlarge in vice are called impure. Deities are completely viceless. Here all are those who enlarge in vice. That is the temple of Shiv, means the golden age, and thus is the brothel, means the iron age. You are now becoming viceless from wishes, and you have to claim your fortune of the kingdom of heaven. The father says, I have come to establish the pure world. I will make you and the masters of the pure world. Simply help me by becoming pure. Give everyone the father's invitation. 5000 years ago, when I spoke the Gita, I said, Constantly remember me alone and you will become pure. If you spin the discus, you become the kings and queens who rule the globe. You will receive health, wealth and happiness. You had everything in the golden age. The fantasies remember me and you won't be diseased for 21 births. If you continue to spin the discus of self-realization, you become rulers of the globe. I promise, God speaks. Baba just teaches you Alpha and Beta, Man Manabhav and Madhya Jibhav. That's all. This study, it's so easy. Simply write it on your heart. Scarcely any businessman study this out of business with the master. You may do that business, etc. You are not forbidden to do that. Acha, the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children who stay in remembrance of Alpha and Beta and who also remind others to do that are the ones who are loved. To such children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bhaktada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the Dharna. First point, don't become tired on the pilgrimage of remembrance. Continue to caution others and remind them of the Father. Don't waste your time. Neither gossip nor listen to gossip. Second point. In order to pass with honors, make no mistakes in your thoughts, words or deeds. Blessing. May you have guaranteed victory and experience success by making the impossible possible with your determined thoughts. Explanation The Confidence Age has the special blessing of making the impossible possible and this is why you must never think how will this happen. Instead of thinking how, think this is how it will happen. As you move along, have the faith that this is already accomplished and that you just have to put it into a practical form. You just have to repeat it. Use your determined thoughts. Let there not be any fluctuation of why 
or what in your thoughts and victory will then be guaranteed. To use your determined thoughts means to achieve success easily. Slogan When there is constant awareness of the Father who is Karan Karavanhar, the consciousness of I and ego will then end. Om Shanti 